Kate Quickcast checking stories, making news as you head out the door. And new this morning, fire crews are called out in the cold for trouble at a Butler County horse ranch. It appears no people or animals were hurt, but the damage could be extensive. Take a look where it happened. The fire started shortly after 11 last night along U.S. Highway 54 between Southwest Diamond and River Valley Roads. At first, dispatchers told us a hay barn at the Palmer Ranch was on fire, but it actually was a stable. The owners opened the door so horses could run to safety. It's not yet clear how this fire started. Fire crews say there may be video footage to review. Take a look at this. This is one of several pictures of the fire which were posted to our Facebook page. The person who took this says she lives across the street from the damage it took several hours to confirm everything was under control. Also making news this Monday, a man is dead following an officer involved shooting in East Wichita Saturday night. 23-year-old John Paul Quintero is dead after police fired two rounds at his chest near Central and Oliver. A suspect is expected to be arraigned today for a homicide at Winfield's Hot Shots Bar. At that hearing, we may finally learn the names of the suspect and the victim. January tornadoes are confirmed in Alabama and Mississippi. One Baptist church in Georgia received store damage during a service. The snowstorm, which Cakeland endured Saturday, is heading for the East Coast now. The trial of the accused Boston Marathon bomber should begin today. It could take weeks to select a jury to consider Jokar Zarnayev's case. A U.S. health care worker who was exposed to the Ebola virus in Africa is being watched in Nebraska. The unnamed patient is at an Omaha medical center specially de designated and designed for Ebola cases.